Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Celetti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.33 from the chapter number 3. The problem is the exclusive OR circuit of figure 3.32a has gates with delay of 4 nanosecond for an inverter, a 8 nanosecond delay for an AND gate and 10 nanosecond delay for an OR gate okay that means these are given these are the given delays for the not get inverter mean not get or inverter okay then 8 nanosecond for n get and 10 nanosecond for the or get the input of the circuit goes from x y equal to 0 0 to x y equal to 0 1 that means initially x and y both are 0 0 okay then it is changed to 0 1 that means x equal to 0 and y equal to 1 therefore the first part of the problem is determine the signals at the output of each gate from t equal to 0 to t equal to 50 nanosecond so we have to determine the signals at the output that means we have to find out the output value of each gate for t equal to 0 to t equal to 50 nanosecond so the second problem is write a very log gate level description of the circuit then we have to write the very log gate level description of this circuit okay and including the delays and we have to include the delays in the code then in the third part we have to write a stimulus module that is a test pants similar to hdl example 3.33 this is one example is given in the chapter inside the chapter okay and simulate the circuit to verify the answer of the part a that means whatever we have found out here we have to show the input output transition and we have to draw the signals at various outputs of the gate or various output of these wires so this is the logic circuit from the example number 3.32a so this is the logic circuit for exclusive or operation so here we have the output f equal to x xor y so here we have assigned wires w1 w2 w3 and w4 similar to the previous cases now we have to determine the output signals at various outputs of this gate suppose this is not get one not get two then and get one two okay or get one okay so we have to see the outputs at the of these gates as per the given in the problem we have two states initially x y both are 0 0 okay then x and y are changed to 0 and 1 x remains same 0 and y stands from 0 to 1 okay from 0 to 1 when x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 that is x y equal to 0 0 so what will have w1 see this one is 0 initially we have 0 0 okay so after this inverter what will have will have 1 here okay this means we have one here this is connected to here okay at this input okay and zero is here okay so similarly this zero again inverter will have one here okay and zero here this zero is directly connected here at this input okay so what will have zero one output of n gate is zero okay then again here one zero so output of this n gate is 0 therefore we have w1 is equal to 1 and w2 is equal to 1 so we have written w1 and w2 both are equal and 1 okay then we have to see about w3 and w4 w3 and w4 both are 0 0 okay so we have written here and w3 equal to w4 equal to 0 at the initial point of time we have this output is 0 okay that means at t equal to 0 therefore at t equal to 0 okay we have this f equal to 0 that means 0 and 0 input 0 and 0 xor is 0 okay so then we have a transition then what we have transition x y equal to 0 1 that means y is now 1 okay so x will x will remain same okay zero so x equal to zero for the next step okay and here we'll get zero so this zero will come here and we'll have one again okay for the second cycle and now y equal to one okay because we have seen that y now is transiting to one now y is changing to one therefore we have one here okay so what we'll get so this one will come here directly and this one will be inverted and will have zero here 
at the at the input of this and get we have now zero and zero so output will be again zero and at this input of this and get we have one and one so when both the inputs are one then the output will be one that means now we have w1 is equal to zero and w2 equal to one now we have w1 equal to zero okay because y equal to one and w2 remain unsensed okay therefore w3 equal to zero that means w3 is zero and w4 equal to w2 and y okay w2 and y it is one we have already seen so after eight nanosecond of delay that means after eight nanosecond of this propagation delay of this gate we will have this x y equal to zero one transition after eight nanosecond of this delay okay previously for the not gate we have four nanoseconds of delay so after 12 nanoseconds of delay we'll have w3 equal to zero and w4 equal to one okay now what we have now zero and one at the input of this or gate so the output will be one first of all previously it was zero so for the second cycle after uh, after 12 nanosecond of delay we'll have the output is one okay so we have written here so f would change from 0 to 1 that means the output will change from 0 to 1 10 seconds after w4 we will get the output is changed from 0 to 1 okay that means we can write we can write that f changes from 0 to 1 after x y changes from 0 0 to 0 1 now in the second part we have to write the get level description okay so we have written module problem number 3.33 okay we have written underscore here so output is f we can define it here itself okay output f comma input x comma y okay we have defined the inputs and outputs okay then we have to define the wires w1 w2 w3 and w4 okay these are the wires w1 w2 w3 and w4 therefore we have written an operation okay an operation it will take eight nanoseconds of delay okay this is for the delay and we have to do the an operation between x and w1 and store it in w3 okay that means this n gate will uh, take eight nanoseconds of delay okay and we will get w3 this is the output okay we have written then this inverter for the inverter we will write not get okay so it will have four nanoseconds of delay this is has four that that's why we have written and we will store the x inverted value in w1 okay here we can see sorry it is y this is x now again we have the n operation between w2 and y so and we will store the output of this gate in w4 so we'll write and so n operation have 8 nanoseconds of delay okay and we'll store the output in w4 and these are the inputs y and this is w2 okay so we have got w3 and w4 okay w3 and w4 we have got then we have to do the or operation between them and we'll find out the y so we'll write so we have or operation that will take 10 nanoseconds of delay this is these are these delays are given in the question itself okay the or gate have 10 nanoseconds of delay and we'll store the output of this or gate in f and the inputs are w3 and w4 and then we have n module so in the third part of the problem we have to see the stimulus module that means we have to draw a test bands that is we have to see the signal levels after various delays of the gates at the starting point we have x equal to 0 and y equal to 0 so we have assumed that we have 0 0 level okay at 0 here x equal to 0 here and y equal to 0 here and we have assumed that a transition occurs at after 10 nanosecond we have assumed here so after 10 nanosecond y is changing to 1 y is changing from 0 to 1 after 10 nanosecond we have assumed here so after 10 nanosecond x y y is changing so y will remain in one level and x will remain in zero level for the 50 nanosecond plus time okay now after the inverter here you can see after the inverter so zero will become first zero will become one and then this zero also will become one so after four nanosecond we have one one here okay that means we have w1 equal to zero and w2 equal to 1 after 4 nanosecond so after 10 nanosecond after 4 nanosecond 14 nanosecond this w1 will come to 0 and w2 will remain in one level this is one level we have written here this 1 0 0 1 0 1 okay these are the levels we have written 1 0 then w1 will remain in 0 level after this 14 nanosecond okay then after after getting this w1 and w2 then we have to go for the and gets 
so n gets have a delay of 8 nanosecond this n gets have delay of 8 nanosecond each so after 8 nanosecond the output will change depending on the input so after again 8 nanosecond this w3 and w4 will change okay so w3 was previously zero and w4 was also previously zero okay so after eight this is eight nanosecond okay eight nanosecond this eight nanoseconds of delay of the n gets this output w4 that means this one value changes from zero to one w4 changes from zero to one and the delay of the n get are eight nanosecond Okay, so after 8 nanosecond, this W4 will change from 0 to 1 and W1 and W3 will remain in the 0 level itself. Okay, then we have to find out the F. We have 0 and 0, this, both are input are 0, 0, so we'll have 0. Okay, and this OR gate have, and the OR gate have 10 nanosecond of delay, so we'll have 10 nanosecond of delay here. Okay, after 10 nanoseconds, it has already have 0 and 1 input. It should give directly 1 here, but it has a delay. So, how much is the delay? 10 nanoseconds is the delay. So, after 10 nanoseconds of delay, the output will change from 0 to 1. Okay, from the part A of the problem. Okay, so and it will remain up to 50 second, 50 nanoseconds plus time. Okay, and it will remain in the same level. Okay, now I have explained here. We have assumed that X and Y both have... 0 and 0 okay applied for sufficiently long enough time that means they have achieved a stable state of 0 and 0 okay then we have assumed that after 10 nanosecond of delay x y equal to 0 1 that means y is changing from 0 to 1 okay we have already seen applied after 10 nanosecond of delay y changes from 0 to 1 because we have we are already given okay 0 and 1 applied y changes from 0 to 1 therefore after 10 plus 4 nanoseconds this 4 nanosecond is for the inverters okay after passing through inverter it will take 4 nanosecond time and 10 plus 4 14 nanosecond equal to 14 nanosecond of time okay 14 nanosecond of delay for the inverter w1 changes from 1 to 0 in the figure you can see okay and after 10 plus 4 plus 8 this 8 nanosecond is for the end gates so after total 22 nanosecond of time w4 changes from 0 to 1 so now after 22 nanosecond of time 0 to 1 w4 now become 0 to 1 you can see here up 22 nanosecond w4 becomes this is 22 nanosecond w4 becomes 1 this is become already 0 so we have to add this but as we can as we know the or gates have 10 nanosecond of delay so we have to add extra 10 nanoseconds so 22 plus 10 it will be 32 nanosecond so after 32 nanosecond of delay okay f changes the output f changes from 0 to 1 okay and remain in level 1 up to 50 plus that means after 50 also it will remain in the same level so we have to show up to 50 nanoseconds so we have seen here therefore up to 50 nanoseconds we have this one level here at the output okay thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you